guys, what's up? Um, okay, so today I'm going to do be doing a video. You guys always ask me, like seriously, it's like my number one requested video is to do bag collections. And you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, I'm like never going to do that. Like I just, I can't do things I don't absolutely love. And like, I don't know why doing a bag collection and like showing off each bag just sounds so boring. Like, who fucking cares? Go to a mall and look at bags. Like, I just don't understand. Like, it just doesn't impress me. Like, it doesn't impress me. I don't watch bag collections. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I just don't give a fuck. Like, it's so show and tell. Like, it's so braggy almost. Like, I just don't like it. And it seems very, like, I don't know. I just, I don't get a good feeling from it. I don't like it, personally. Okay. So, I'll just never do it. Watch me do it next week. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do it. I, like, I just won't. So, today I'm going to, um, I picked... Some bags, some Chanel bags that I love, and I picked some or one that I hate. Okay, and um, I think I have very unique Chanel bags. They're not like one of them's not unique. Like whatever. I, I feel like they're very unique because I'm like very picky about everything that I like buy and wear. And you guys know that. So I think you'll love this video. I hope you do. Um, it's kind of like the closest to a bag collection that I will do as far, I don't know, we'll see, you guys know I always like take things back in the end, okay, so anyway, what are we talking about first, um, I don't even know, I just kind of feel like I need to like get warmed up to like do videos, like what am I, do I like the way I look right now, like I'm actually not sure, I'm like not really like, um, I don't know, like I'm just not like totally feeling myself today, like I, I feel like I have a very long face today, like my face feels very long, in this video so I'm like kind of ugh about it okay I gotta show you guys my new lipstick like you know I cannot stand lipsticks like I never ever wear lipstick ever um hold on I also have to talk about this coffee okay before we get started I need to like I need to like gear up to like getting into a video I like, can't just like get into the subject like I need to like do some like housekeeping with you guys first okay so these lipsticks I swear to god you guys they're from fucking Ulta okay it's the Ulta brand like who the fuck even would know that, like, Ulta has a brand, like, so gross? Like, who would buy that? Like, honestly, you, you don't go to Ulta to, like, buy Ulta brand, right? Like, I would never. Except I, I found this, or this one, from one of the girls who worked there. She, like, I told you guys a while ago. Like, she reckoned she was like, really nice, and she's like, you have to try this thing, you'll like it. So I got it in a, another shade, and I didn't like it. So I exchanged it for this shade. It was a little bit lighter. And I just been, like, throwing it around in my bag, and I was really sick last week, and I had, like chap lips from being so sick and these are um lip oils actually so they are really good for your lips so i've just been wearing them this one is in passionate peach and then this is a clear one and it's the coconut one okay let me show you what i do like i legitimately feel like so pretty with this and when i like during the week when i go to work and stuff and like go to meetings and all that kind of shit like meet with people i do eyebrows and I don't really wear anything else except for some BB cream okay and then I've been wearing this and I kind of feel like really sexy like I don't know what it is but like some people have like complimented me and I like never get compliments like I'm usually like so ugly so I just been doing like this I have some on right now so I don't like really want to like go all out because I'm like a fucking porn star but um and then this over and I kind of like have been putting it over the top of my lips because I'm so chapped, it's like nourishing them. But at the same time, I just love these fucking colors. Like, they're so good. And like, I never do. Do I look like a pig? I kind of feel like piggy. Do I look like a piggy? Like, it's too pink. It's just fucking light. I swear to God, I look so much better. Like, without this fucking damn light on here. Okay, anyway. So, hopefully, I'm like that disgusting. Like, I feel like I look very long today, which I don't like necessarily like. Okay. Then, um, okay, I got this coffee. Did you hear that? Did you hear that noise? Okay, I got this coffee, and um, so I went out this morning and got this coffee, and I actually hate going to this place because there's this, like, person there, this girl, actually. I have an eyelash in my eye right now. Okay, there's this girl there, and I don't give a shit. Like, you guys are bullying me, actually. You guys are, and I, not you guys, a lot of you guys are, like, bullying me not to say the word retarded, and I'm, like, not going to listen to anyone. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I don't give a fuck. Like, shut up, okay? Retard if you want to go back to, like, my last video and see why I don't fucking give a fuck about the word retarded, then go, okay? Because I'm not going to even explain myself anymore. Anyway, this girl... Let me get one more. I'm just going to say one more thing, too. One more thing is this. If I ever, if I ever saw someone calling someone who's actually had, a, like, 
a, like a mental delay or any kind of a retardation of any kind, I would fucking, and they called them a retard, I would fucking bitch slap them. Like literally, that shit is, that was evil, that is not okay. But when I use the word retarded for something other than a, an actual someone who is like slow, because I would never do that. You need to shut up. Just please stop it. I'm not even gonna address this again because I get so infuriated by it. Like, stop bullying me into like being like this little like PC person that you might be, because I'm just not and leave me the fuck alone, okay? So here we go. This bitch is literally fucking retarded. She's not, okay? But she is. She is, and she irritates me so much because this place is expensive, okay? This coffee shop is expensive. So if I'm going to be spending this much on, and by the way, thank God they have not changed their straws. It's still a plastic straw, but um, if I'm going to be spending this much on a latte and I explain to you exactly how to do it, can you please take a little more consideration and don't be irritating? Like, just don't, just do it right. Just do it right or, like, you need to just, the manager needs to, like, throw you out. Like, they need to throw you out. Anyway, thank God I didn't have to deal with her today. There was another woman who was new and she was so nice. And she actually got it right. Can I explain to you what I ordered? Like, tell me if this is that difficult. Because I actually don't think it's that difficult. I mean, maybe it is, especially if you just, like, don't give a fuck like her. But, okay, I got a coconut latte, coconut ice latte. And it's a, this is a large drink. This is a large cup. But I said, I was like, I want, I'm ordering a small, but I want it in a large cup because I want a lot of ice. Um, so I don't mind if there's room, I told her. Um, so you don't have to, like, fill the whole thing up with coconut milk. So just give me, like, a small and a large cup with a lot of ice. I feel like that's not that like difficult to understand. Like I just don't feel like that's that it's that difficult to understand honestly. And like I understand if there's like a huge line and people are just like over like bitch, don't even complicate me with your irritating drinks. I understand it. There's like no one there. Okay? There's like no one there. Um I mean, I hate it. It's not good, but like she did it right, you know what I mean? Okay. So let's just get going. First of all, I want to just explain some things really quick before I get going. This is the um, any anyway chain that I'm doing, the Goldfield Anyway chain that you guys are liking. I love it because you can like put any charm on it, which is really cool. It's gold fill. So it's a really beautiful, thick and like sturdy chain that you can slip over your head, but it also has a clasp so you can like double it around if you want to or make it a lariat. It's a really nice piece. But don't look at the way it is right now because I fucked it up on myself. Um, it's not long enough. So the ones you're going to be getting are about, it's going to end here because this one actually doesn't fit over my head perfectly. It's hard to get over my head. So this is mine, but it's too short. Okay. So when you order, cause a lot of you order these together, it's going to lay better. Okay. Like it's going to lay like, exactly perfect. I feel like mine's messed up, but like, I don't want to like, throw this chain away. You know what I mean? But it's wrong size anyway. So I have that. Um, and then this is my new floral necklace and I don't have it on my site yet, but it's all, this is 14 K and there's these gorgeous little like, um, sparkly flowers. There's five of them and there's a large one here and they're like a little bit smaller around and you can wear it as a choker. Like I do. It's like really flat, easy to wear. Like I haven't taken it off. I mean, I showered with it. It's 14 K so you can like do whatever with it. It's like last, you know what I mean? I love it. Um, and you can wear it lower too. There's like two different attachment or two different like parts to clasp it on and then of course I'm wearing my studio 54 necklace and my bracelet which I am just dead over and then my um ID tag and I love these these are 14k gold fill or sterling silver and you can get your initial the initial um these are all hand engraved and they are uh sorry to text they are like really affordable and they're hand engraved you can like choose your initial and I have I'm doing gothic font but I call it gangster font I love it it's like very like hardcore I just like think it's very very fucking cool um okay and then let me just talk about my charms really quick I really I'm like so obsessed with my fucking charms right now I'm not going to talk about all of them because a lot of you guys have seen them or a lot you've seen them, a lot of them but the new ones I'm going to talk about this is my Nokia cell phone and it's the cutest thing it's like the OG cell phone that like if you guys are like I was born in 1984 so if you were like around my time period you kind of know like that phone we had in high school or like it was the best phone ever, right? And it's that phone. I fucking am so obsessed with it. It is so cute. Um, and then you can also wear it on a chain or you can put on a hoop or you can buy the, buy the charm alone and just like do whatever you want with it. Put it on your own chain or whatever. And then let me show you this. What am I wearing in the back? Oh yeah, this is my um, Goldie Heart collection from my Goldie Heart collection. This is the quilted one. It's like very cocoa. So cute. You can also wear it on a chain. I'm wearing this Goldie Heart too. Um, it's a bigger one. You can see the size difference. And this is the glittery one. Um, and then let me show you this new piece that I'm dead over. And I can customize this one for you too. It's a 14 karat 
um, and black diamond paper clip. I was going to say safety pin. Paper clip. And I don't know if you can see the black diamonds here, but they're really, 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 really cool. And um, you can, I can also do it for you in white diamonds. Um, I wanted to do this one that was like all rubies, but it's just like too expensive and I'm not trying to like make things super, super unaffordable. So this one is not available on my site yet. Actually, this one's not. The cell phone is. And you can order this one from me. There's some things I'm, I don't know if I'm going to put it on my site. Like, I'm not sure. Like, it's just like, if you want it, I can like, you know, have them made for you. But they're just like very special, like individual unique pieces. And I just think it's so fucking badass. It's just like everything. Okay. Next ear really quick is, um, you guys know this is my safety pin, my grand safety pin. And then I have, um, I put my own like pearl. They all, they all come with a pearl that you can take on and off. So if you don't feel like wearing a pearl one day, you can take it off and whatever. Um, but I'm also offering like custom pearls now. So if you, cause it just comes with a small white one, but if you're like, Oh my God, Alex, I want like a blue pearl or a green pearl or something like that. I would like love to do those customizations for you. This one's like a pinky purple one. It's gorgeous and it's like really big. Okay, then I'm wearing, oh my God, let me show you guys. I'm dead over this one. Okay, I'm fucking dead. So the Rolly, you guys know that my Rolly ring and my Rolly necklace. I wanted, and I have Rolly studs too. I wanted a Rolly charm. So now I have Rolly charm and I'm also wearing, uh, here's my, I'm wearing two. So in the back one, I'm wearing my LV charm, which a lot of you guys have the little LV flower. And this also comes as a necklace. Um, and look at the Rolly charm. So cute. Okay. Those are all 14 K and, um, yeah, so that's that. And you guys know that if you like don't know where something is, you can more than you're more than welcome to email me. All right. So like I mean, I'm gonna try to put the links below, but sometimes I wear like different hoops with the charms and stuff just because I like to mix it up. So if there's like a certain one you want with a certain charm or a hoop, just like let me know or ask me, and I'm totally there to help you. Okay. So that's that. Um, this piece is not really on my site either right now. The the um, flowers. It's new. So and it's actually pretty affordable. It's really affordable for. The fact that it's all 14k and just how sparkly and like everything it is okay let's go i talked about everything okay so i have a sip of my coffee i'm just gonna get right into this all right the first one i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about um so the one one that i love at first and this is not my entire collection this is i'm not even joking this is probably not even half like i do have a lot of bags you guys know that like i do have a lot of bags and i'm not trying to like hide the bags i have like i wear them you guys can like go back into my instagram or whatever or, like old blog posts and see like what i have like whatever okay so instagram whatever um, um but like this is i do have more um just trying to like i don't know why i said that like okay it doesn't matter okay my first one that i love is my this is called the reissue and i call it my amg white bag i, I have like name like a name for some of them actually i don't like this one i do i have no names for them actually <laughs> okay so this one is my amg white bag and it is a pearly so like the color of my car, I have like that, my, my car is like this color. It's like that pearly white and in some lights there's like a little bit of like a blue AB fleck, you know what I mean? So this is the same and I always wanted to reissue. I love the silver hardware with it. It's fucking just like sick as hell, like it's so sick. I love it except I'm just gonna straight up say, but you guys know I have like an, it, this issue with like Chanel and them not having top handles. So I did create top handles for the for these bags, my Privé top handles. I don't wear my Chanel bags as often as I like because I just feel like they look so bad on me. Like they, there are bags that make people look fat, okay? I'm not lying to you. Unless you're like already like four pounds, nothing will make you look fat. But there are bags out there that make people look fat. A lot of bags make me look fat. The only kind of bags that look good have top handles or perfect shoulder stuff. Anyway, I can get a whole thing of like why it's certain. Anyway, stop. <sighs> different, different fucking top by Alex. Okay. Anyway, I, I love this bag, but like I don't wear it. I don't wear these enough just because the lengths are wrong. Like the lengths are wrong. I don't like the way this length is particularly, and I really don't like the way this length is particularly at all. Actually, not at all, at all. So it's just, it's been difficult, these bags. Like I just feel like they need, they're just not right. Like as classic and beautiful as they are, I just feel like nowadays, like the style is different where we're in these long that like hang right at your ass and like accentuate how wide you are. 
or like this are not exactly if they're not exactly right like it's just stupid like it's just such a basic bag like oh my god hi I have a, I'm wearing a purse like it's just not it's not cool like it's not cool it's not like a tuck it's not like long enough it's just like oh my god I'm like I'm like 40 year old like 40 year old woman with like going to work with like a bag like, there's something it's just the, the lengths are wrong so it kills the vibe it totally kills the vibe so the top handles have have made it more po possible for me to like these bags um, and by the way, for the top handles, if you guys have like a certain bag that you want a top handle for to like make it more, to make it cooler and more like useful and versatile and just like, this is just the most annoying thing to like have to find like every time. It's just like so annoying. You know what I mean? The top handle is just grab it and go. And that's what I like. Like I don't like to like, my life is already so complicated. Like I don't need the fucking bag chain to compl complicate my life even more. So besides the fact that I can't stand the way a lot of these classic Chanel's work, and lay on me I do love the bag a lot like it's gorgeous okay so like I'm not even gonna like diss it because like it is sick okay or right, the next one I'm gonna talk about is um, I'm gonna talk about my these two little the squares I don't even know what these are called I think these are called like the minis I'm not sure but what I, you guys know like I'm like not even like a bag like fanatic like I, I am but I don't even like know what these are called like they're just fucking Chanel bags I don't know like small Chanel bags like squares okay so these are the little square ones. I think they're minis. I'm not sure. Um, and I have top handles on them both because these like are the most atrocious options. There is no other way to wear these except for one way, except for long. Um, and it's, it looks ugly. Like it looks ugly. Unless you like crossbody it in front of yourself with a jacket, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look cool. It looks like old and it just, I don't know, whatever. So I fixed them and I put my top handles on, but I still love them. Like they're those adorable little like candy gems. And I think they're like so, so cute. This one, I have my atelier on it where I strung leather through. So there's an atelier option or and this is just the classic thick privé, which I love and like every single bag needs a, a top handle privé. And if you have, like I said, if you have another size bag or whatever, you're not sure, email me and I can help you choose the correct one for your bag. And they're just really, really cute. Like, there's really nothing I can say about these bags except for the fact that, like, there's nothing. I just love them. This is like a little, like, slice, like a little neon lemon, lemony slice. Like, it's just so fucking cute. And this one is just, like, classic and, like, well, I'll probably have it forever. You know what I mean? I just love it. It's so adorable. There's nothing about it that I don't like, except for the fact that the strap on it, like, is just the worst. It's just the absolute worst. And I like to wear this in front, like that. And then I like to carry it like this. It's, like, so much cuter. It's so much, like, it's so much more of a vibe. Like, I get the vibe like this. Like, I don't get the vibe, like, with this stupid long, like, strap. It's, like, so annoying. Like, every time I have to, like, find it, like, put it on, like... Bitch, no, like, I just want to, like, grab my bag, and now I'm, like, ready to go. Like, it's so much easier, like, have it, like, right here with you, you know what I mean? Like, like, security blanket, like, so fun. So, anyway, I love, love, love these bags. Really, really cute. The shape, the shape. This is the shape I like. It's, like, a little square. Okay, now I'll do a, I have a hate bag. And I, this is, like, <laughs> the, it's funny that I hate this bag so much, only because it's so popular and I feel like everyone has it and I think we all made a mistake buying them honestly like I legitimately think we all made a mistake buying them um and I know everyone's like I didn't make a mistake I love it back I'm like, you did okay so um this is the jumbo and it is like the dumbest bag ever like okay I just hate this bag so much like there is nothing about this bag that I like it is hell okay this bag is hell it is I mean I bought it when I bought this bag it was very like in like everyone had the bag like whatever this was like the bag to get I probably wore it like one time my whole life it is the dumbest bag it's too big it's like too bulky it's so like it's so played out it's so like bitch I spent five thousand dollars on a bag like that's what I feel like when people wear these bags like it's just dumb I just feel like it's the dumbest most unvibey bag ever like, so what? You have a gem, like a Chanel jumbo bag. Like, great. I don't know. I just don't like the bag. Like, anyway, we all spent a ton of money on them. So, of course, we're going to use them. I think that they're cute. Personally, I think they're cute. Like, you need to, like, really wear them. Like, play them down. Like, you don't give a fuck about it. Like, you need to wear it with, like, workout pants. Like, workout clothes. And not even, like, a cute workout outfit. I'm talking about, like, 
big chunky sweats and like huge glasses and like your hair tied up and then you like throw this on like you just don't really give a fuck like that's like the only way this bag works like i swear there's just some this bag is so dumb like okay so i hate this bag so much anyone who knows who out anyone out there knows exactly what i'm talking about right now the length on this strap is so long it basically drags on the floor like this bag is so long it drags on the floor legitimately like hits me on the knees like swear to god it's like the weirdest thing i don't even know why it's so long and then it's just so clunky like i just can't like it, it's just too much it's just too much like oh my god this is such an ordeal like it is such a it's an exhausting bag and I just, there's nothing about it that is just like, I just don't care. Like if you're wearing it, like I don't care. Like the last person I'm gonna look at, like, ugh, like just not, it's not, I don't know. Maybe like, you know who I like seeing wearing this is like a very old woman, like like a, like a 70 year old woman wearing this. I just feel like it's so classy and chic and like that's her bag. But I just feel like anyone else wearing this is just complete and total no go. Anyway. So that I could, so that we, because I get a lot of you guys ordering these bags, bag chains, I have a specific bag chain, and it's under my bag chain, it's called Chanel Jumbo slash Maxi, it works for the Jumbos and the Maxis. I fixed it a little bit, as much as I can fix it so we can wear these bags again, I did fix it, okay? I got us a top handle vibe chain so we can just like throw it on and go, it's like not that, like, it's not that hard to use anymore, and it's the cutest short and it fits perfectly okay do you see the vibe like I feel like right there there's like the vibe like there's better vibe than what it was before like I would never like oh my god it's like I like literally would never so I created this and it's just like the most you guys know the pre chain is like amazing this turning into like a pre babe I'm sorry this is supposed to be this is turning into a pre babe bag chain like this is turning into a pre babe bag chain video like it really is but like actually it was not supposed to be it was supposed to, but I mean I'm just telling you the truth about them okay so I fixed it like I totally did fix it because I'll I will never ever ever and it even looks good in the front of course because like everything I do like makes sense to me okay so um <laughs> like look how dumb this is <laughs> like I'm not kidding it's so stupid I just think it's so dumb and then like can you imagine how long it is like this <laughs> like it is the dumbest bag ever like I just don't get it and if you're like I'm not a small girl I'm not like a super tiny like petite girl if and we see like petite ass like little girls wearing this and I'm just like oh my god like you're drowning in that bag it like doesn't in like the worst way like I love people like drowning in big clothes and stuff but like it doesn't look good like for some reason it doesn't look good so anyway that's that um I yes I fixed your bag for you okay this bag is the worst like I uh, I don't know what why did we buy that bag like seriously I don't know why we bought it because it was like really in right like like three or four like maybe five years ago everyone right all the bloggers had that bag and like that was the bag to have like if you had that bag like it was everything right like is that why we bought it like I don't fucking even know um I also have a cream like a blonde one was like I call it blonde it was like the first bag I bought when I got my first job um out of like the accounting job I had I like saved as fuck for that bag um and I loved it I wore it all the time <laughs> like looking back at the photos of me wearing it like it's so stupid like it just looks bad okay I have two more bags love bags and there's no complaints with these okay there's no complaints with me so this one is the most beautiful bag in the whole entire world she is delicate like like this is a like a very special like princess this is like if there was like a princess in the world like this would be her because it's very very she's like so delicate and like I have to be very careful with her because if I get one little spot of like a martini or like anything on it it's just gonna like you know what I mean like spread it's I mean I've had it now for it's perfect there's not one mark on it I've had it for like you guys know you guys know more than I do about myself like I don't even fucking know how long have I had this for you guys will know I have no fucking clue a year okay so um I wear it pretty frequently like maybe like just on the weekends like maybe like twice a month I guess so it's just pretty frequently for like rotating bags I love it okay and I'm not changing the handles on it or anything it's just I think it's the most beautiful color it is so Mae West Jean Harlow um modern day and it is beautiful there already have a tiny tiny little snag right here like the smallest snag ever but it's really really a hard bag to use um, the inside is leather like look at this color and um, it's just so boudoir 
I just love it. Like, I just love it, love it, love it. Fucking love it. And I also love that, so these are, um, what's it called? Leather. And the hardware on it is, the only thing I don't love is, like, the hardware is deliberately tarnished. So they've made it, like, if you look closely, if you guys have this bag, the gray is coming through the metal. So, like, this, it's a, it's a, underneath, it's like a brass with like a plating on top and the brass is coming through and it's I think it's meant to be like that I mean it doesn't bother me even on the Chanel you can see it like it's just like the vibe which I don't mind I just don't know why they had to do that it's kind of stupid but it's just it's so beautiful it's so beautiful it is I love it I love it love it love it okay like like can we just talk about this like how beautiful is this okay like like these colors it's just so cute you know what I mean okay um I just, I can't, if I could like frame this, I would, you know? Okay, so there's that. The next one I have is a bag that you guys also, I feel like you guys know that I have. Like if there's certain people out there, you like know they have a certain bag, right? So this is a bag that I bought from the Shopping Center collection. And I was completely and totally in love with the Shopping Center collection. You guys know it. It was a Carl um, collection kind of thing. And um, God rest his soul, right? He was passed. And so... I I love this bag. This is a very unique bag, but it's also a bag that it goes with. They're all like classic shapes, you know what I mean? This I love these um these satiny bags. I don't know what it's called or silk, I don't even know. But this is a sick ass bag. This is a bad ass bag. Okay, it's dirty cuz I I wear this all a lot. Like I need to get it clean. There's like stains all over. It's like disgusting, but I I need to get it clean, but I, whatever like I wear it to like games and stuff you know what I mean like I wear it to like Kings games oh, I hate going there and like I don't know I just like like it like it looks good on me I don't know um and I just feel like it's cute and it's not gonna ruin and it's not the kind of material that snags and look at how comfortable it is and slouchy and I love to wear it open um I get a lot of questions about this this does not come with it I bought it separately it's a little rose um from Chanel and I bought it on the same day that I bought this and I put it on that day and it comes with that long strap, which, it, it, you know, this strap doesn't look bad on it because it's a slouch or something. I don't know. It works. It doesn't bother me at all. But I do have my Privé Ice on it, too. And I, I just, I switch back and forth. You guys know that you've seen me before wear this with my Privé Ice. So it's just a better length. Let me show you. Do you see how long this is? You, this is just, it's just cuter, okay? Like, it's just so much cuter. It's just, I don't know. There's just like a vibe to it when it's just done right. And this is my Cubay Ice. Ice, it's like an acrylic chain um, with silver hardware. And I also do it in gold. So I like to wear this one both ways, just depending on my vibe that day. And if not, I just leave it down. And it, it's just really cool. It looks like it's a part of the bag. It looks like it was made for it. And then also, what's so cool about this bag is there's a little, it looks like a barcode or like a price tag for like scanning at the register. You guys know. I have an obsession with scanning, um, but it's actually a mirror. So I never used it, but it's just a very unique bag and I really, really, really love it. I'm so happy I got this. Um, so before I go, I just wanna show you guys, do you guys remember these boxes for when I first launched Privé? Do you guys still have these? These are like, we don't do these anymore. Um, okay, so I want to show you some of my new barrettes. The barrettes have been, my clips, my um, Crystal Club clips, have been so, so, so popular. Um, and I'm doing for, uh, like, in the memorial of Carl Lagerfeld, um, I did some, I designed some clips, like, the day that he passed, or that we learned he passed, I just, like, started, I was, like, designing some, like, clips, and I was like, oh, my God, like, this is such, like, this looks, like, so Chanel Carl to me. I'm missing one of the clips, though. It's the... You guys can go look. It's the one um, with the lace and the pearls, which is like so Chanel. I can't believe I forgot that piece. Okay, so I just want to show you guys some clips that I designed, and I feel like they're so his vibe. You'll totally agree. I only brought the three out of the four. Anyway, these Carl clips, which are on the listing, are marked $10 less each. So by Monday, they're going to jump up to their $40 each price, um, and I hand make all these just so you guys know. Um... And you don't need a code or anything. They're already marked 30, I think 30, and they're gonna be 40. Okay, so just so you know. And I'm just gonna show you guys the three. And I, you're gonna be like, oh my god, yeah. But I wish I had the lace one because that really ties it all together. I can't even fucking forgot that. Dumbass. Okay, so 
Here they are. They're black and white crystals. And then, see how there's two different ones? There's a white, black, white, and there's a black, white, black. Okay, those. And then a jumbo one, a jumbo, like huge white crystals. And then I have one that's lacy with pearls. It's so pretty. I can't wait forgot that. But, um, That is so sick. Like, but like these clips are so in right now. I just love them. So those are those two, and then um, you guys know the AB the baguettes. I'm just I have these in my thing, but those are the first ones I designed, and then I came out with a black version of it black diamonds so a lot of you guys ordered the white and the ab but now there's a black diamond one too and it's really 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 sick if you have dark hair um it looks really really nice on it really pops okay and then these two you guys know i'm doing the these um leopard so anything let me tell you one more thing too any of the options with my dauphine crystals on them i offer these dauphine crystals in um pink ab or emerald if you want like to switch like if you want this one with a pink or whatever just let me know in the notes section i'll totally do that with you for you but now i'm offering emerald options too so emerald so gorgeous let me see i don't think this goes does this go not really right yeah it actually does it's so fucking cool i love it okay so pretty okay so that's it um do you guys like this video i mean i don't know this is what it is okay this was the video um and i think that's it i'm not sure it looks better i think when i have like no mascara on doesn't it just makes me look like pretty rather than like slutty i think personally i'm not sure all right, guys, <laughs> that's it. Okay, <laughs> bye.